A very good day to all our viewers, and thank you for tuning in to Polymer Update TV, the world's first and only TV network with a free daily petrochemicals news show. We are thrilled to have you here, and if you are keen to expand your knowledge by accessing our free news, please don't forget to subscribe. Your support is deeply appreciated by all of us at Polymer Update. You are watching the Petrochemical Market Synopsis with me, Claire Jones. It is Wednesday, July 26. Let's start with energy and feedstock news. Crude oil prices rose on Tuesday as top leaders of China, the world's second largest crude oil importing country, pledged to roll out a slew of measures to boost demand and investor confidence in the Chinese economy. The gain in prices was also driven by a decline in gasoline inventories in the United States. Brent crude prices rose by 0.90 cents, settling at $83.64 per barrel, while WTI futures increased by 0.89 cents, settling at $79.63 per barrel. On Tuesday, OpenSpec naphtha prices rose by $4 per metric ton at the $608 per metric ton CFR Far East Asia levels. In linear low-density polyethylene, LLDP prices marched higher in the Asian region on the back of higher import offers from overseas suppliers and an increase in energy prices. Gains in LLDP futures on the Dalian Commodity Exchange in China further pushed prices higher in the region. In Southeast Asia, LLDP prices were assessed at the $940 to $970 per metric ton CFR levels, a rise of $20 per metric ton from the previous week. In Far East Asia, LLDP prices were assessed at the $940 to $960 per metric ton CFR levels, a week-on-week -week increase of $30 per metric ton. In India, LLDP prices were assessed at the $980 to $1,010 per metric ton CFR levels, a week-on-week -week gain of $30 per metric ton. In Asian market updates for polypropylene, polyethylene, and polyvinyl chloride. In polypropylene. This week, PP prices witnessed a rise in parts of Asia, while quoting flat in other parts of the region. A week on week gain in upstream energy and propylene values pushed prices higher in the region. Bullish PP futures on the Dalian Commodity Exchange in China and firmer import offers from overseas suppliers also supported the price rise. In polyethylene, this week, HDP prices gained in Asia while LDP prices witnessed a rise in parts of Asia. The rise in prices was driven by higher import offers from overseas suppliers and an increase in energy prices. In polyvinyl chloride. This week, PVC prices climbed in parts of South Asia, while remaining stable in other parts of the region. Stronger import offers from overseas suppliers, coupled with gains in upstream energy and VCM feedstock values, supported the price rise. A rise in PVC futures on the Dalian Commodity Exchange further pushed prices upward in the region. Our broadcast today is sponsored by South Korea's Direx Polymer LLC. Direx Polymer LLC is a JV company between DL Chemical and Rextac both recognized as industry leaders in their respective fields for high-quality polymer, capable of satisfying a wide range of applications and adhesive needs in different markets. Direx Polymers Plant, with a capacity of 40,000 metric ton per year, manufactures APAO products from their world-class Yosu complex in South Korea, equipped with state-of-the-art facilities. That's all for today's Polymer News. Watch our daily news video tomorrow to know more. This is Polymer Update, with me, Claire Jones, from Polymer Update's Virtual World. Many thanks for watching.